Okay, so welcome back to my channel guys. This video is a continuation of my last video. I'll be linking that video in the description. And if you are watching this for the first time, like if you're watching this channel for the first time, please do pause this video and go to my description, open that video in a new tab, watch it there first, understand because that video is based on the preparation. Like how are you supposed to prepare? And based on that video only, these strategies will make more sense to you. Okay, but obviously if you want to watch this video, you can watch this video first and watch that also. Whatever works for you at the end of it, right? So in this video, we will discuss how will you give the paper. When the paper is in front of you, like how are you supposed to answer? Because a lot of people answer it in a very unstructured way. Ki jo aata hai, wo kar lenge, and jo nahi aata hai, wo baad mein rakh lenge, and stuff like that, which becomes a very unorganized manner. पहले वो मैथ स्टार्ट करेंगे फिर मैथ्स टफ लगेगा उनको एंड देन दे विल गो टू फिजिक्स देन सडनली फिजिक्स टफ लगेगा तो केमिस्ट्री में जाएंगे देन एट द एंड ऑफ इट मैथ्स भी खत्म नहीं किया फिजिक्स भी खत्म नहीं किया केमिस्ट्री भी खत्म नहीं किया फिर इंग्लिश में जाएंगे इंग्लिश भी थोड़ा सा मतलब हे वायर होता है सो दैट इज वाई एम गिविंग यू लाइक प्रॉपर स्ट्रैटेजीज टू फॉलो अ वेरी स्ट्रक्चर्ड अप्रोच एंड यू कैन चूज विच एवर स्ट्रैटेजी यू वॉन्ट विच एवर स्ट्रैटेजी वर्क फॉर यू and in my previous videos also i had stressed a lot on the mock test you have to start giving mock tests because the more text mock tests that you give the better you get at solving the paper completely because kuch log kya karte hai ki wo log 3/4 of the paper solve karenge aur wo log bolenge 1/4 to easy hai but it's very important to sit for those 3 hours and keep that concentration that is the toughest part even though your questions are not going well even though you may not be able to answer in the best possible way fir bhi it's very important to go through that paper and it also makes you more familiar with the paper so yeah i think i'll be talking about the three strategies which are one works for you start using it in your mock tests and let me know how it feels so yeah let's get started okay so coming to strategy 1 this strategy is where you only take one round of the paper this is the strategy that i used to use matlab main pehle dekhta tha ki when i had started answering mock tests i started with this strategy then i moved to strategy 2 but strategy 1 is also very good it it basically depends on which strategy works for you this one is taking one round of the paper but also keeping time limits for yourself because you can't just take one round of the paper because fir paper khatam nahi hoga right so you have to find out what works for you and accordingly keep time limits for yourself mere liye chemistry mera bahut strong tha to main chemistry ke liye kam time lagta tha maths mera matlab strong tha but it would take me time to solve to maths ke liye main zyada time lagta tha so i'll tell you my timings also which was physics ke liye 30 questions would be like 30 minutes uh, chemistry 30 questions would be 20 minutes and maths ka jo 40 questions hai that would be ek ghanta so 30 plus 20 plus 1 hour uh, which is 60 minutes eventually ends up into 110 minutes which is 1 hour 50 minutes isme almost 3/4 of the paper is complete hota hai right abhi kya bacha hai english aur reasoning bacha hai and uh, whichever questions that you could not do before wo bacha hai so english and reasoning would easily get over in 20 minutes for me and then the rest 20 minutes i would keep for probably answering the previous questions and then i would go to bonus questions so what is bonus questions that also i'll be discussing in this video itself so yeah i think the best the, the this strategy worked for me in the start is because whenever you are doing subject wise preparation jaise physics ka subject ho gaya you are doing all questions only from physics so you will take 30 questions from physics and you're only doing physics you're not doing chemistry maths so physics के थर्टी क्वेश्चन लेके यू टाइम यू सेल्फ फॉर थर्टी मिनट्स एंड यू डू थर्टी क्वेश्चन एंड केमिस्ट्री के थर्टी क्वेश्चन लेके यू टाइम यू सेल्फ फॉर ट्वेंटी मिनट्स अगेन दीज टाइमिंग आर ओनली फॉर मी दीज टाइमिंग्स आर वॉट वर्क फॉर मी यू कैन कीप डिफरेंट टाइमिंग्स अगर तुम लोगों को मैथ्स ईजी लगता है फिजिक्स टफ लगता है या फिर केमिस्ट्री टफ लगता है तो केमिस्ट्री के लिए ज्यादा टाइम लगाओ एंड स्टफ लगता है वॉट एवर वर्क फॉर यू दिस इज वॉट वर्क फॉर मी सो या आई थिंक दिस इज स्ट्रैटेजी दट आई यूज टू यूज दिस वो स्ट्रैटेजी नंबर वन दिस इज अ वेरी बेसिक स्ट्रैटेजी एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल यूज दिस स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर बेट साइड स्ट्रैटेजी टू इज अ थोड़ा सा डिफरेंट स्ट्रैटेजी वेर यू टेक टू राउंड ऑफ द पेपर एंड दिस वॉज माई स्ट्रैटेजी वन आई स्टार्टेड गिविंग बेट साइड मॉक्स आई चेंज माई स्ट्रैटेजी इन टू दिस एंड दिस स्ट्रैटेजी स्टार्टेड वर्किंग फॉर मी वेरी हेवीली वेर आई शू स्टार्ट विथ यू नो केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स मैथ्स एंड आई शू कम टू इंग्लिश एंड एल आर लास्ट ओके बिकॉज मेरे को मतलब जो इजी वाले थे वो बीच में रखने थे सो दैट आई हैव टाइम टू डू द बोनस क्वेश्चन अगेन आई कम टू दैट एंड हाउ दैट वर्क्स बट मेरे को जो इजी वाले क्वेश्चन है ना वो बीच में रखने थे बिकॉज इफ यू कीप इजी वाले क्वेश्चन इन द स्टार्ट देन द मोर यू गो थ्रू द पेपर द मोर द टफनेस इंक्रीजेस सो आई वॉन्टेड दैट वन सेक्शन जहाँ पे ईजी हो जाए ब्रेन थोड़ा सा हल्का हो जाए सो आई टू कीप इंग्लिश एंड लॉजिक इन द मिडल समय right but you can always start with english and logic first most of the people that use the strategy start with english logic then they go to chemistry then they go to physics and then they will come to maths 
Okay, so the way this strategy works is first you start with theory and then followed by numericals. So you would finish English, logic, chemistry, physics. Maths में उतने numericals मतलब maths में उतना theory रहता नहीं है बस graph के questions रहते हैं. So you can do that also and then go ulta. Don't go again to physics. I would say go to maths. Okay, this is something that no one tells you and that is maths पे tie break रहता है. And uh, what you don't realize is अगर I have three twenty marks. and you also have 320 marks but i have 320 marks with an 80 in maths and you have 320 marks with a 68 in maths then i will be considered as the higher ranked person as opposed to you okay that is why it is very important to spend more time on maths compared to the other places that is why even if you see in my first strategy also i had said one hour for maths because i wanted to give more time to maths because my maths used to like maths used to take some time for me but my accuracy used to be good in maths so that is why i used to give more time to maths then you can follow it up with uh, physics followed by chemistry so it will be english logic chemistry physics maths and then maths physics chemistry this is how you will solve the paper this is called two rounds of the paper right now you come to strategy 3 strategy 3 is where you take three rounds of the paper this is a strategy that i have recently encountered with talking to a lot of bitchins and they told me that they use the strategy and they suggested that each round they should do for one hour each round of the paper is to be one hour but i have kind of improvised on this strategy and i would suggest you guys to take 45 minutes for each round okay so that at the end of the paper you have 45 minutes left because end of the paper you can always revisit all your questions you can understand ki ha ye by mistake maine wrong question to tick nahi kiya wagera wagera okay so first round obviously theory only theory is the first round second round this is a slightly extended method of the strategy to only where you are going through the pap- the numericals but the easy numericals only jaha directly formula use kar sakte so you don't want to miss out on these questions that is why this is the second round for you and third round is the part where you have to use a whole page matlab ek formula hoga fir dusra fir teesra this you will keep for last and this strategy can be very useful to the low scoring people people who are not scoring that much who want to increase their score to even the most decent level ye strategy unke liye bahut kaam karta hai because you are first going through theory you are then going through easy numericals and then you are going through tough numericals okay so this helps you make sure that the easy questions are answered by you on time okay so that the easy questions are not left for last because most students ka kya rehta hai ki wo log matlab paper like time khatam ho jata hai lekin paper khatam nahi ho pata and fir pata nahi chalta ki easy question shoot gaye ya tough question shoot gaye okay so this is the this is the second uh, round of the paper for you and third round of the paper mein you will focus he- heavily on maths jahan pe maths ke tough questions rehte hai jahan pe bahut matlab solving rehta hai and then three four questions of physics ya chemistry jinme thoda zyada solving rehta hai so uh, apart from that you will also get the bonus 45 minutes at the end so this strategy again helps you a lot so yeah i think whichever strategy works for you use that particular strategy and like there are like a few tips and tricks which i wanted to share which i have used and which have worked for me like brilliantly okay first thing is i have mentioned in the previous videos that you should not be wasting too much time on the question on one question agar ek question tough lage you have to go to the next question even if it's in the third round agar ek question tough lage flag karo question ko it's a computerized test so you have the option of flagging it and at the end of it you will be able to see ki kaun si questions flag kiye the so even if you know the answer but it's a long question lengthy question don't be stuck on it go to the next question solve that then later agar time bache to ye lamba wala question pe aa jana okay because rather than solving one tough question of 3 marks you can solve three questions of easy marks you know so uh, yeah i think it's about solving more questions not solving all the questions and i've mentioned this in the previous video secondly this is a trick which i used to use a lot okay and that is to delete the options okay abhi ye kaise kaam karta hai main thoda sa explain karta hu and now say for example organic chemistry organic chemistry mein aise bahut sare questions rehte hain jahan pe ek bada equation rehta hai like two reactants will give you one product and then from there there is one more product that comes and there are different reagents being used and all of that so now the question is it is very tough to predict ki kaun sa product last mein hoga but what you can do always is based on the reagents you will come to know ki kaun sa group aa raha hai in the particular product like is it an alcoholic group is it an aldehyde group to usme se samajh aayega ki like if the aldehyde group is present but you know for sure ki alcohol group should not be present then if there is an option with the alcohol group present you can directly delete that option kyunki you your concepts are so, so strong ki you know ki alcohol group to hona hi nahi chahiye so you can delete options over there directly ek 
दो तीन बार तो ऐसे हुआ है कि मैंने दो ऑप्शन डिलीट किए तीसरा ऑप्शन भी डिलीट किया एंड देन आई रियलाइज कि ये मतलब सॉल्व भी नहीं करना पड़ा मेरे को लाइक आई डेंट इवन हैव टू डू द इक्वेशन वगैरह वगैरह रिएक्शन भी करना नहीं पड़ा आई जस्ट डिलीटेड द ऑप्शन दैट डायरेक्टली गॉट आंसर सेम थिंग फॉर मैथ्स इफ यू नो द लिमिट कि कभी कभी ऐसा होता था कि आई वुड नॉट बी एबल टू नो द आंसर बट कैलकुलस में ऐसे लाइक देर आर सम क्वेश्चन इन विच यू कैन कैलकुलेट द लिमिट कि कितना तक जा सकता है सो वैन यू कैलकुलेटेड दैट लिमिट यू नो कि दो के ऊपर नहीं जाएगा so you will discard all the options which are which are saying those so okay and if you don't have time you can flag that question and keep and you can choose out of the two options isme kya rehta hai you have a higher probability of answering the question correct kyunki rather than answering out of four options now you reduce the option to two options okay so yeah, i think that's about that and now coming to the bonus questions okay ki bonus questions hote kya hai okay a uh, bonus questions is a specific thing that is only there in bitsat exam it is not there in any of the other exams and if you are a student who is answering more than 100 questions out of 130 only then you are supposed to attempt this okay why am i saying out of 100 why am i saying that why am i giving you the threshold of 100 questions the reason is because if you you have to answer all the questions to get these bonus questions and if you answered 100 you are doing 30 as tukka matlab you are just writing any answer matlab you don't know if it's going to be right or not right okay so out of the 30 questions let's let's take the worst case scenario ki 30 me se 30 galat ho gaya which does not happen but we will take the worst case scenario ki 30 me se 30 galat ho gaya still there is no problem for you because you are getting 12 bonus questions and usme se you can get 36 marks so even though you are on minus 30 you can still get 36 which gives you an advantage of plus 6 so this is the worst case scenario worst case scenario me aise nahi hota okay Now let's go to the realistic way of approach. So out of thirty questions, just because guess here, minimum at least four correct will be out of thirty. These questions are too much. All the A select here, na, so be at least four options will be there. Just because one, I mean, A is the correct answer. So at least four are correct. So let's take four into three because plus three minus one ka scheme. Four into three is equal to twelve. So twelve plus twelve by ओके okay, और कितने गलत हुए चार चार करेक्ट थे मतलब कितने गलत हुए ट्वेंटी सिक्स गलत हुए ट्वेंटी सिक्स इंटू माइनस वन विच इज इक्वल टू माइनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड प्लस ट्वेल्व कितना हुआ माइनस फोर्टीन माइनस फोर्टीन हुआ नाउ कमिंग टू द बोनस क्वेश्चन जिसमें ट्वेल्व बोनस क्वेश्चन है एंड दीज बोनस क्वेश्चन आर यूजली ईजियर देन दो अदर वन थर्टी क्वेश्चन दैट यू है ओके सो आउट ऑफ ट्वेल्व इन द मोस्ट रियलिस्टिक केस लेट से यू हैव आंसर्ड टेन करेक्ट ओके सो प्लस थर्टी हुआ टेन इंटू थ्री थर्टी एंड कितना था पहले माइनस फोर्टीन था सो प्लस थर्टी माइनस फोर्टीन कितना हुआ प्लस सिक्सटीन हुआ यू आर स्टिल इंक्रीजिंग योर स्कोर दीज आर वेज ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग योर स्कोर टू अ मच लार्जर एक्सटेंट एंड आई थिंक दिस इज वॉट आई हैड यूज आई हैड स्टार्टेड विद स्कोर ऑफ अराउंड टू एटी टू नाइनटी इवेंचुअली वॉट अ स्कोर ऑफ थ्री ट्वेंटी फाइव इन बेट सेट एंड सो दिस इज वन स्ट्रैटेजी दैट वर्क फॉर मी एंड आई एम शेयरिंग दिस सो दैट इट वर्क फॉर यू गाइज ऑल्सो एंड या आई थिंक दैट वॉज अबाउट इट there are more videos coming up i'll be sharing some last minute strategies also i'll be sharing a lot of things by talking to a lot of bitsian so do subscribe to the channel uh, to not miss out on any videos and yeah take care and all the best for a second attempt uh, you guys will be do you guys will be acing it and doing it amazingly so yeah thank you so much if you watch this video till the end